Hey guys, how is it going? Hopefully you're having a great day. Today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys all of my soft plastics that I own. This will be part one of my tackle tour series. Part two will be my heart baits and part three will be my rod and reel arsenal. So as you guys can see, I have a fair amount of soft plastics. So let's get right into it. So all of my boxes are labeled with what I have inside. This box in particular is labeled for worms. All of my worms are in this box, so let's open it up. And go through here. Hopefully you guys can see a little bit. But what I have here is all of my trick worms are in this area. All of my finesse worms or robo worms are in this area. All of my Senko style baits are in this area. And all of my shaky head, wacky rake, or ribbon tail worms are in this area. So I have a fair amount of robo worm worms. I think I have about seven packs in here. Um, these are great drop shot baits and shaky head baits for largemouth. Um, I've caught some of my biggest fish using robo worms. Got some bio spawn plasma tails. These baits are actually pretty cool too. They are the Bass Pro flicker worms. Pack of like 20, I think. They're a really good shaky head worm. There's one green pumpkin. Uh, we got some bass munitions, some elastic trick worms, and green pumpkin. And some yum, assorted yum baits, yum uh, trick worms. On this side over here, again, we have some ribbon tail worms, which I do not use very often. We got some power baits, shaky snakes, which I picked up this uh, last winter, actually. Really good uh, shaky head baits. We've got some Havoc money makers, uh, assortment of yum dingers right there. Fair amount of yum dingers. Those are pri uh, those are primarily my go-to uh, uh, stick worms, sorry. Um, I also really like the Bass Pro stick worms. Uh, I have some of them in here. I don't know why they're in this yum pack, but I um, really like those. I also keep, whenever my uh, Wacky Rig or my Senko is cut in half, I always keep the halves and put them on a neg rig, rig so I can reuse the plastic. So that's my first box. That was my worm box. I keep uh, most of my soft plastics in these flambeau deep boxes. Um, I feel like they're really easy to travel with and keep everything nice and safe and organized. So, moving on, we're going to go to my swim bait and tube box, which is this box right here. Uh, it's labeled swim baits and tubes. Let's open this guy up. There you go. So, in this box, I have swim baits and tubes. I don't have that many swim baits and tubes to have their own separate boxes as of right now. So, here I have uh, my, all my swim baits, all my swim baits here, all my flukes and grubs here, all of my tubes are here, and some of the swim baits that came in those plastic packages. But I don't want to keep them in the packages because I don't know where to put them. I put them in Ziploc bags and just put them in this corner right here. So starting, ooh, so starting over here, I have a bunch of uh, Berkeley Havoc grass pigs. They're really cheap, uh, they're pretty, the okay quality, and um, I primarily use the, uh, the grass pigs for trailers on chatter baits and spinner baits. I have a bunch here, these are in uh, blue black, I mean sorry, blue, yeah, blue back, sorry, blue back, the shag color, uh, green pumpkin, which I use a lot. We got some in, what is this, green back, so they're a little more of a flashy color. I also have some of these watermelon, black, silver, beet shads. Kind of remind me of uh, a Kitek a little bit, but they're really skinny. Um, swim will probably devour this. I haven't really used them that much, but um, these are my favorite swim baits as of right now. The, Gam the Gambler's Little Easy. I can't find these anywhere in Canada, so I'm really pissed. I'm trying to save these ones for as long as I can. I'm going to be making a tackle warehouse order very soon, so hopefully I'll um, stock up on these. But these are in Ghost Shad, and I don't know what it is. Maybe the scent, or maybe the action, but ooh, fish on my like love this bait. Moving on, I got some flukes. I don't fish flukes that often, but I do have some in the boat just in case. 
Um, they're really good uh, finesse trailers as well. Got some perfect plastics, KVDs, uh, a couple packs of Zoom uh, flukes, and then I have an assortment of just some uh, swim baits that I don't know where the packages are. And uh, some really finesse swim baits. This would be good for a, 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 a Alabama rig, sorry. I don't fish Alabama rigs though. The Ripple Shad by uh, Power Bait, Berkeley Power Bait. Moving on to these packages here, I got the Eco Pro Tungsten Swing Shad. These are also very, very nice swim baits. I really do like them. I got them in my street tackle box. And I got some six inch or five and a half inch uh, beach shads from uh, Bass Pro. On to my tubes. Um, a tube is a staple in my boat. I don't fish as as often as I probably should, but they do catch fish even if you're if you're going for a smallmouth or a large mouth. For smallmouth, I prefer to uh, rig it with a weedless uh, tube hook that I get from uh, Trocar, I think. Um, and I usually just kind of shim these on top of the grass and the large mouth will come and swallow it. And for small mouth, I prefer to rig it on a tube, a, a tube head jig with a 1 4 ounce. Um, here I have some coffee tubes. These are in honey and they're 3.5 inch. I do like the 3.5 inch size a little bit more than the 4 inch. Got some Lunker Hunt tubes, Bass Pro tubes. These are really cheap, but they do not last very long on your hook. Same goes with the Lunker Hunt. I prefer the coffee tubes and I also really like the English Choice tubes which I have in a different box. Uh, some more striking and then some more striking in um, uh, Green Pumpkin. So that's about it for this box. Let's close her up. That's my swim bait and tube box and we're going to move on to my craw box. So as you guys can see, this says craws, it's my craw box. I don't fish craws or creature baits that much, um, so I don't really have that much creature baits on me. And if I do fish them, I lose quite a bit of them. So, uh, But moving on, here is my craw box. It's falling out, okay. On the top, I have all of my craw style baits. Below that, I have my um, speed craw kind of baits then my creature baits and my brush hogs and my lizards. And on this side I have all my doomsday weepers, which are 3.2 inch. So we'll start off on this side actually. You guys can see I have a fair amount of doomsday reapers. They are a great bait to use, especially for smallmouth. They go really well with a jig. I like uh, nose hooking them. I kind of got a flick shake and just rig, uh, throwing it up there that it stick to the bottom and just kind of slowly dragging it for some smallmouth. Uh, my favorite color, or the color that I have used before, is this one right here. It is Dirty Gill. They're coming out with a 3.8 inch um, Doomsday Reaper, which I am super excited about. Uh, I can't wait to throw that. But moving on here, I have a bunch of these uh, Bass Lures, Bass Assassin, Pure Craws. I got them off Taco Warehouse last year. They're relatively cheap, they're like three bucks. And all they are is a craw style bait. I use these on the back of jig heads and on uh, Texas rigs primarily. Got an open pack here, I'll show you one of them. They're really cheap, relatively cheap plastic, but um, they're a pretty simple craw, which is effective. Moving on, and they stink too. <laughs> I got a pack of some Rage Tail uh, craws. Got some Power Bait uh, Trigger craws, which are pretty good craws too. I really like these craws, or these uh, burner craws, I guess they're called, the Gambler Burner craws. Um, these are in green pumpkin back at you, which is a green pumpkin a blue swirl and I really really love that color um, something about that color I don't know but it does really good in my lake and I'm looking for more craws in that color we got some uh, river bugs in here some more bug and creature style baits punch baits these are actually pretty interesting too they're kind of they're a hollow craw they're called the young craw bugs you can rig them on 
uh, two head jig or just Texas rig them. Um, they're pretty good cross as well. Got some Biwa uh, armored cross. They look really good. I have not used them yet. Got some. What else do we have here? Yum brush hogs. Um, I only have one pack left of these, and they're really, really good cross. I really do like the brush hogs a lot. We got some lizards, which I do not throw um, at all, really. So that was my craw box. It's a little bit, you know, lame, I guess, for a craw box, but I do not use craws that often, so that's all I have. Moving on. Uh, I actually do not have room for what's in this right here. This is... Um, all of my well first of all i have all of my doomsday tackle d hops which are the frogs that they have uh, a pack of those extra pack of doomsday reaper so it doesn't fit in that box and i also have all of my doomsday rokus these are the 5.4 inch uh, worms that they do make at the moment they'll have more baits coming out very soon open a pack of these if you guys saw my you guys would see in my unboxing what they look like they are a six-sided uh trick worm slash senko style bait pretty thick bait but they do have a little bit ball a little ball on the tail right there very nice bait, uh, wacky rig, Texas worm, shaky head, drop shot, anything like that. It's kind of like an all around worm. And I got one more box left for you guys. So my last box is my biggest box of all my soft plastics. And it's... Uh, a pretty large Plano, as you guys can see right here. It holds all of my Angler's Choice stuff. <laughs> so, let's open it up. It's a little bit messy, but, um, oh man, okay. I'll try to show you guys what's in here if I can get around to it. Ooh, okay. So, um, this whole side of the box is just kill shots. Um, I have them arranged by color. So over here I have my natural, more natural colors, I guess. I have some, this is supposed to be here. I have some clear uh, colors on the side, sorry. I have some smoke purple silver halos. Um, some of these guys right here. inch and four inch. These are a mixture of three inch and four inch. You just organize them by color. So if I'm looking for a kill shot, I can know which side to go to. Over here, I have some perfect jigs, chunks, uh, some crawls and some chunks. And I have all of my other non-kill shot English choice baits on this side. So here I have their tubes. These are the four inch uh, bass tube. Super uh, high quality tubes in my opinion. I have one that I've used that's actually in the top of the package. It's already rigged. Um, I got the crosshairs which were new for 2016. A really good drop shot bait as well. Got the Wally Minars and the uh, Warthogs 5 inch uh, worms which are really good for wacky rigging. I caught a lot of fish on those in, uh, in this color, in the black and blue color. And on this side, I have the craws. So we got some uh, flapping craws, some uh, speed bugs, which are really uh, nice. To All those English choice baits are really soft too, as opposed to the craws I found at least. At least this craw. This is the flapping weasel. It's a really big uh, punching and flipping kind of bait. And then some more flapping craws. So, that's it for my soft plastics. Those are all the soft plastics that I own. Uh, for some of you guys, it may be nothing. For some of you guys, it may be a lot. But um, this gets me through the day on the water. 
Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, all of my social media, all of my discount and promo codes are down below in the description. Once part 2 and 3 are posted, they will also be in the description as links. If you guys have any questions or any comments, leave them down below. And hopefully you guys will stay tuned for the next video. Um, like the video if you like the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.